And he told the people he was a prophet and he had a mission. I was like, really? I don't know that. And he did miracles. People that had skin disease, they were cured. People who couldn't walk, lame, they were cured. People that were blind and they were cured. Even a dead man was brought back to life. The story is in the Bible, Lazarus, but you're telling me a Muslim believes this? Huh? I said, yeah. I said, okay, well, what do you believe about Jesus? We say he's the son of God. What do you say? He said, we say he's the son of Mary. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. He is the son of Mary. He said, this way we don't have to try to resolve the issue of son of God. Ibn Allah, a'udhu billah, astaghfirullah. Allah has a son, a'udhu billah. So this is where it really starts making you think. Muslims do believe so much, almost, you know, it's almost exactly, almost, but maybe a little bit different. Because when we came to the subject of Son of God, he said, no. Son of Mary, yes. Mu'ajiz, yes. Even the Kalamatullah, the Word of God, the Logos. When Allah wants anything, he just says, kun fayakun. Be, and it is. And that's how he created Jesus. And I thought, oh, it's in the Bible. The Kitab al Maqdis, that's what it says. Be, and it is. And that's how he made him. So, Maryam is the mother. God is the creator. Exactly what my Muslim friend told me. I thought, oh, if this is the case, what else do you believe? He said, we believe he's not dead. He's with Allah and he will come in the last day. Oh my God. I said, this man is going to be easy. I can convert him right now. This is almost the same thing. But then it happened. The big event happened. The Catholic priest friend of mine said, I want to go to the mosque. I want to see what do they do. And he went to the mosque. When he came back, we said, come here. What do they do in there? Do they like, you know, slaughter animals, you know, zibiha? Or do they make uh, bombs, something? He said, no. He said, do they line up, saf? Then they stand like this. He said, like a monk or priest when they worship in silent. He said they were silent, stood like this. I said, really? He said, then they bow. Rukua. Then sajda. Then sitting. Silent. Not talking to each other, nothing. Silent. The whole time. Until Assalamu alaikum wa Assalamu alaikum wa I said, then? He said, they left. I said, what kind of music did they have? He said, they don't have any music. I said, what? How do you worship God with no music? I was a music minister. I'm wondering, how? No music? He said, no. No music. I got to know more about this. Well, I did. I learned a lot more about it. Do you know what happened next? It came my turn. I became very curious. So I began asking some hard questions to the Muslim. What do you say about this? What about so and so? I heard Muslims, you know, they do so and such. And every time I ask him a question, he smile and he would tell me so many nice things. And I would think, huh, this is not the image I had in my mind. In fact, when I think about Isa alayhi salam, what was his character like? How did he act? How did he treat people? How? And I said to myself, 
this man, this Muslim, is acting more like Jesus than the Christians. He never drinks alcohol. He never smokes cigarettes. He never lies. He never cheats. He doesn't chase the women, if you know what I mean. No. In fact, when ladies come close, he puts his eyes down. I said, if Jesus was here, salam, this is what he would do. He would be like this man. I still wondered, how can I get him to be a Christian? It was still in my mind. How can I get him to be a Christian? But all along, I was wishing I could be more like this man because he was at peace inside. No matter what happened, if we have a flat tire on the road, he's at peace with it. It's alhamdulillah, qadr Allah. I don't know what he meant. He said, qadr Allah, mashallah. I don't know what it meant. But he would say that and he would smile. If we ran out of gasoline, no fuel, alhamdulillah, qadr Allah. If I didn't have the money to pay for something, qadr Allah, mashallah. No matter what happened, he was okay. I'm wondering how. How can this man be in such peace all the time? I wish I would be like that. You know, when I think about my friend, the Muslim, I almost laugh now to remember how patient he was with me. Because I would be telling him, you know, this and so and so, and come on and be a Christian. And he would smile. Finally, one day, he said to me, you know, I will go to your religion if your religion is better than my religion. But you need proof. Proof? Well, we know in Islam that dalil is something very important. If somebody tells you anything, ana dalil yaqi, right? But never in Christianity anybody said this to me. What is your proof? Proof? I even said to him, proof? Religion is not about proof. It's about faith. All about faith. No proof. He said in Islam, we have both. We have faith. But we have proof. And when he said that, it came in my mind. And I said to him, do you mean to sit there and tell me as a Muslim you can prove there's God? Then he said to me, do you mean to sit there as a preacher for Christians and you can't? Uh... Uh, now what could I say? Because I want to know what's his proof. Because I never thought about proof for anything. Just you hear somebody say it, you believe it. And they said in the Bible, it says so and so. You look and read and read. You never find it. Where does it say it? He said it. Okay, I believe it. No, in Islam, every single word you must be able to prove or you don't say it. Allah said, Kala Allah wa Kala Rasul. This is the haqq of Islam. Kala Allah, the Quran, wa Kala Rasul, the Hadith, Sahih Hadith, Bukhari, Muslim. And when he would explain, my Muslim friend, he would explain Islam to me, he would tell me, in Quran, Allah said, and he would say the Arabia. I don't know Arabic. Zero. No Arabic. In those days, I didn't know one word. Not even Salam Alaikum. Nothing. But he would still recite the Quran in Arabic. And then he would say, more or less, the English could be like this. And he would tell me. And he would say, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Huakala, he said, for instance, 
خیرکم من تعلم القرآن و علم and this in English he would say would mean the best of you are those who learn learn the Quran and then you teach the Quran so he would give me the Arabic he would give me the English sometimes listen to this sometimes he would recite the Quran quickly quickly like for instance he might say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim called Hu Allah Hu Ahad Allah Hu Samat I'd say no 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 stop he said why I said go slow he said why I said I like to listen to it he said but you don't know it I said but I like it and sometime when he would recite I would feel like I want to cry I don't know why like when he would recite A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Ar-Rajim Allahu La Ilaha Illa Hu Al-Hayyul Qayyum La Ta'khudahu Sinatun Wala Naum Lahu Ma Fis Samawati Wa Ma Fi Al-Ard Man Da La Di Yashfa'u Indahu Illa Bi Idni Yalamu Ma Bain Aidihim Wa Ma Khafum Wallahi Yuhituna Bi Shayim Min Ilmihi Illa Bi Mishra Wasi'a Kursiyuhu Samawati Wa Al-Ard Wala Ya'udahu Thiftahuma when he got to this part, when he said, I think this is why I told him, no, no, oh, slow, slow, what is this, what is this? And he explained about the curse of Allah, the arsh of Allah, so much details. And I'm thinking, oh, this man knows more about his religion as a geologist than I do as a preacher. How come the preachers of Christianity don't know about Christianity as much as some Muslims? Some Muslims know more about Christianity than some of the Christian preachers. Oh, this is very, very interesting. I like how he talks with admiration for the Egyptian friend. What I want to say is I like the, I, I was never there, but it seems like the relationship they had was nice. Because then none of them are telling or trying to preach to the other to make the other person feel bad or feel like trash because of what they believe in. He said his friend was patient. And when you're patient, you're listening to other people's opinions you you have to really understand them where they co they're coming from with patience comes love because you have this love for god when that time for you to preach to your friend and say um i understand you follow this and follow this but from my point of view i feel like maybe my religion don't say it's better than the other one just say i feel like maybe islam is the better way because so and so there is proof there is proof and what not and that's how it should be in life like i said this is very amazing i like this guy i really really love him so let me get to the third part of this video <laughs> 